the nation's capital now, uh, where the Prime Minister has announced this new one-off payment to struggling farmers just days after that fiery clash on Radio 2GB and 4BC with Alan Jones, uh, Sky News' own Alan Jones. They were talking about the drought. It got very, very testy. Alan Jones, of course, and his audience have let it be known very, very publicly that they want to see more government action on drought assistance. And a couple of days later... The government has reacted. Uh, Trudy McIntosh, Sky News political reporter, joins us live uh, from Canberra. What's the reaction been today, today, Trudy? Well, we've seen some strong pushback from within the Nationals today, not on the announcement itself, but rather the optics around how the Prime Minister announced this. I'll get to that in a moment, but as to the payment, this is a ex- uh, one-off payment that will go to people who are coming off the farm household allowance. There's been significant focus on that payment in the past few weeks. The Prime Minister today revealing that singles will get $7,500 and couples will get $13,000 once this four-year period comes to an end for the house, uh, farm household allowance. But as you say, it's been a lot of tension within the Nationals today because the Prime Minister made this announcement on 2SM radio this morning. At the same time, Nationals leader Michael McCormack and a whole rump of his party were in the uh, courtyard here at Parliament House announcing this funding. So a clash of timing there, and it certainly caused a a lot of um, fury within the party. One National MP telling Sky News today, quote, that they're shitting on us. Is the PM going to go on TV when Dutton is? We look dopey standing around at a Class B presser because Class A is up at the same time. And in the last hour, we've seen more nationals now speaking out on background, one saying that they believe the Prime Minister is arrogant when it comes to this issue and warning that many nationals MP are on the verge of losing it when it comes to this issue because it's their electorates that are broadly affected by the drought. So clearly a lot of frustration, but some, at least publicly today, defending the Prime Minister, saying they're just happy to see more funding. Mate, if I can be really frank, I don't care if Bozo the Clown's lining up at the Z Class press conference as long as he's bringing a check uh, for the people that I represent and people who are in need. So, you know, the moment the story becomes about us, it's lost. Uh, it, it is about the Australian people and what we can deliver. Uh, and look, I'm, I'm happy to continue to deliver into those regions because th- these are people who are in desperate need. The Prime Minister also copying it from the other side. We heard from Shadow Agriculture Minister Joel Fitzgibbon in the, this morning. He very critical of the only modest amount of funding that we've seen here from the government. It is a callous act. In fact, the greatest act of bastardry by any government in the history of the Federation to be taking our most desperate, drought-stricken farming families off the modern, modest farm household allowance payment. And it won't help very much to, be, to have that payment extended just six months. But Chris, I asked Joel Fitzgibbon what amount of money would Labor like to see put towards this farm household allowance. He wouldn't go into a specific number, instead saying that it might need to be a very significant amount of money to help farmers get through this drought.